day. I don't remember hello, exactly hello, hello. what day it was. Is it good? Um, yeah, it's very good. Yeah. It's it's not. Um, it's enjoyable enough that if you're looking, f if you love the Mission Impossible, well, even someone like Andrani, who's not really familiar with it, she's seen one or two of the Mission Impossible films. She enjoyed it. Those of us who know all the characters and care about him probably enjoy it a little bit more, but it's not John Wick 4. Mm. It's, it's still, though, a, it's still a lot of fun. Mm. But it, does, it, doesn't, in three. it doesn't touch John Wick 4. Ghost Protocol is, I just, the last... The last two are better than Dead Reckoning Part 1. I expect Dead Reckoning Part 2 to be really, really good because this kind of sets the table for it. But the stories of the last two Mission Impossibles were fantastic. Mm. Don't watch Part... Don't watch MI2. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid direct with Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Thank you so much for the subscribe. Just like the balloon. So the poll so far. For what? Should Andrani and I see Oppenheimer today in standard format, or should we wait two weeks for IMAX 70 millimeter? 65 percent of the stupid babies on this poll have said we should wait. Congratulations. Thank you. I will also wait. We will see. Until it comes to digital, like Nolan intended. Watch it on your phone. Best experience <laughs> ever. Uh, today we got a, uh, a information. This is India's moon mission, rocket blast into space. I don't know if you've heard anything about this. I have. I also heard about a great big office building. What? You haven't heard about it? No. India now has the biggest office building in the world. Well, it surpassed that, the Pentagon. That makes sense. Yep. Uh, so take that, Texas. This is India has everything's bigger in Texas. India has launched its third moon mission, and yeah, it's hoping I to heard about the that. first. Uh, to land near the South Pole, uh, which has obviously been rarely explored. Um, and so this video kind of uh, goes into a little bit of depth. Uh, they should go to the North Pole of the moon. <laughs> They'll find Santa. The moon landing was fake. Am I right? Stanley Kubrick says so. <laughs> Said he was hired to direct it. It's true. Here we go. <laughs> what are you going to do? Welcome to the program. We start with a historic mission to the moon. A white uh, British woman. Why are the British explaining? Come on! Spacecraft. This is the moment that it took off just under an hour ago. It entered Earth's orbit shortly after. It's kind of it's how I look with your mom. Yeah. Lunar landing. Rockets are phallic. Successful. The craft will deploy a rover. Wow. Not a lot of information there. Not at all. A rover near the moon's south pole. Oh, a dog's sun. going up? And India will become so only the fourth a rover. country behind the U.S., the former Soviet Union, and China to manage a controlled lunar landing. A little earlier, I spoke to astronomer and podcast host Jennifer Millard, who talked us through the launch of the rocket and explained how long it would take before it reaches the moon. Once it's there, it'll orbit the moon a few times before attempting to deploy the lander and then the rover, which is contained within the lander. So, yeah, we've got a little bit to wait. We're expecting it to get to the moon 23rd to 24th of August. That's the rough timeline. And then, yeah, hopefully India will become only the fourth nation to have a successful wait a full month? landing on the surface Since of August? the moon. August? Which is absolutely yeah. incredible. Oh, wow. About it. It's only the US, Russia, and China that have achieved this. And yeah, India are going for it. You know, they and we haven't have been back in. Terms of Part of the reason it's going so slow is because, mission. I mean, that's what they tend to the do. rickshaw guys. They were the first it's Russian up. nation to reach Mars as well. They've got an orbiter. Around why are we watching? Why, is, why are we learning about this from the BBC and China British too. people? So, yeah, we expect great things from India and space in the future. So it was actually the Changyan program that discovered water at the South Pole of the Moon and oh. concretely discovered water on the Moon. That was the first time that had ever been done. That was back in I heard it was Perrier. And then, of course, they're really making amazing progress, spending very little money on these projects. Yeah, that's the so thing. We look at NASA's. Yeah, they, their, their space program is nothing budget-wise. Yeah. They, billions they put of dollars. NASA and, and SpaceX to shame. They're doing it for... $75 million, something like that. We spend more on making movies. <laughs> Barbie Heimer, Barbie's uh, budget was like $150 million. to do that so much? They're smarter. So again, it's doing things like taking their time, so using yeah. the least amount of fuel. They're smarter. They care more about their resources. Using smaller craft, so this rover, you know, is not the sort of size of a car that you would expect with the Martian rovers. This one is on its biggest dimension. It's about a meter long. Oh, wow. 
And so then that reduces the cost as well, you know, lower mass. I like her shirt. Well. It's like Miss Frizzle. It's cheaper. And it's very, very specific targets. You know, we only expect this rover to be working for one lunar day. That's one of the things with the timing of this mission as well, is to get there for the start of a lunar day. So we've got that full two weeks to make the most of all of that solar power huh. to charge the batteries. And so it means wow, that that's interesting. India can do these extraordinary missions and extraordinary science on, on a very, very low budget and does show that you don't need to spend Correct. this money necessarily to do amazing exploration in space. Jennifer Millard there. Well, let's speak now to Prasad Samramayanian. Yay! Of Indian, uh, at Indian Institute of Science, Education and research. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. I'm assuming that you watched the launch um, and are following yeah. its progress. So what can you tell us? What's your assessment of how things are going? Things are going very well. Um, uh, fingers crossed. Uh, but but uh, I, I believe we've, we've passed the most crucial uh, stage of, of the launch. And uh, so, so as of now, yeah, yeah, things uh, couldn't be going better. So just to explain what's happened, the American? Blast off that and looks then the boosters separated. I saw, uh, I saw the trees and next to that thing. It is tiny. The, ocean, and I the rocket, it has yes, now entered Earth's orbit. What's happening? And then just if you could just explain what's happening because it's going to orbit it's the penis. Earth several times, isn't it? Before it does this sort of slingshot movement yes. uh, and, yeah. and tries to. That's get what I do with your mom. I orbit a few times before the slingshot movement. It's a matter of. Entering, uh, entering the moon's gravitational, primarily the moon's gravitational Shut pull, up. and and it's a complex maneuver, and uh, so uh, uh, to be clear, the rover per se is going to land on the moon only in about two weeks or something mm. like that from yeah, now. Twenty third uh, or twenty fourth of August, they said. Yeah, that's right. Yes, yes, something like that. So uh, in between, between now August. and then, it's it's a lot of uh, fairly complicated orbital dynamics that's going to happen. Basically um, trying to build up speed, though, I understand. Yes, yes, yes. The, the, the slingshot's a very good analogy. Um, the uh, you, you, the you amount of math get, required get stone right in, gives in, me anxiety. In, in <laughs> so that, that, that's pretty much what it is. But, <laughs> but the smart yeah. people do it. Yeah. And and easily put. The, 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 easy part, well, the, the really difficult part, apparently, is landing on the moon. And yes. I know that India tried it once before and it didn't go so well. So um, right. talk us through why this is so tricky, what, what it involves. Oh, uh, to the extent I understand, um, it's, it's a matter of... Where's he uh, from? It, it's, it's, think, think of, uh, of, of uh, so trying to land on your feet. Uh, the accent kind of sounds American a little bit. Of, 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 of a building. Uh, you, you need to make sure your feet are strong. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this to anybody, but but if you were trying to do that, uh, maybe you studied need to here. Make sure your feet don't buckle, and then there's a lot of rebound, and you're not very sure about the composition of the soil where you're landing. So all these things. So um, so that's why um, it, it's 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 a combination of mechanics. Um, and 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 uh, uh, mostly mechanics. And, uh, this Sorry. Sorry, I was just going to ask if you could explain what the mission is. As I said, the, the aim is to land on the South Pole. And we don't yes. know a huge amount, do we, about the actual South Pole? That's right. That's precisely where, why we're trying to go there. And uh, uh, the mission, the, the scientific objectives are manifold. Um, broadly put, uh, lunar geochemistry and, and, and of course, uh, presence of water ice. Uh, which is the Holy Grail, and uh, understanding um, how the lunar surface came to be um, uh, what it is now, understanding um, the impact of, of the solar wind, so something that I'm personally interested in, uh, how the solar wind particles impact the, impact the uh, moon's atmosphere, the lack of it, and, uh, and, and how they influence the geochemistry of, of the lunar surface. Uh, yeah, this is about as much as, as 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 I broadly understand. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so far so good. So we will see, I suppose, won't we, in the in the coming weeks. Thank you very much uh, for talking to us, uh, Prasad Sabramamian, who is a professor at the Indian Institute of Science, Education, and Research. Thank you. Did the um? I'm I'm an idiot. So I'm guessing the original one when we went in 1969 mm -hmm. didn't take a month, did it? To get I don't remember how long it took from liftoff to landing. But I'm, I'm assuming, obviously, the mechanics to get to the South Pole, I'm assuming, are different than to just get where they are. It have, is. Uh, and, and when you have a, a smaller... See, part of the thing you, you have with a larger ship is not just that you're showing off. It gives you 
a, a, a lot more power and you can gain more speed. Yeah. So I think for them, clearly it was, there's no rush. We can, mm -hmm. we can make this in a month instead of in five days because we, we, we're going to use less fuel. fuel. We're going to, yeah. So, uh, but I don't, I don't remember from, they covered it in some of that time frame, though this was after the date, I'm remembering in Apollo 13, how long they were waiting for them to get to the moon. It's not a long time. It wasn't a month. And it was, they landed on July 20th of 1969. I just don't remember when liftoff was. Did you watch? No, but I was there. I was four months old. Don't remember it though? Don't remember it at all. Damn. Yeah. I was... I was four months old I when we landed I was alive on during Barbieheimer. Interesting. Similar. Wow. Similar. Uh... <laughs> similar impact on the world <laughs> so what do you think do you think the moon landing was a, was a hoax no you know you know you think kubrick was lying <laughs> i think kubrick was talking out of his ass that's what i think <laughs> kubrick was doing <laughs> just to you know do you think the world's flat yeah yeah for sure that's obvious i mean this floor's flat oh, yeah so what more evidence do you when need? i walk outside it just keeps going doesn't i don't when i walk i don't start feeling this it's true. The earth is flat, children. Just know that. Yeah. I'm thinking of George George W. Bush now, and he'd say a complicated word and look so proud of himself. So I was feeling recalcitrant. <laughs> recalcitrant. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, said, a, said a big word. If there's other uh, videos that give us more information, obviously, about that, I, I've seen a lot of people post about this and send us stuff. Uh, yes. Uh, so, obviously, when it when it actually happens, I'm sure uh, we'll get more. Yeah, I read it. I read it. In, I, the launch I read in one of the news sources I was I was looking at, but saw nothing about it, obviously. And I figured we'd probably see something yeah. about it. Anyways, let us Congrats, know if there's India. other videos that we can react to uh, and any other information we need to know down below. Just...